students welcome back to your political science class let us continue with the lesson the union legislator in the last class we have studied about the president how he is elected and what are the qualification now let us proceed with the chapter further what to what is a no confidence motion it is a floor test to prove majority in the lok sabha and it can be moved by any mp and must have the backing of at least 50 mps speaker decides the date of the debate day de uh, debate and date of the debate must be within 10 days of moving motion and the ruling government has to resign if it lose the trust of vote so what the recent no confidence motion was held in 1993 when congress wins the no confidence vote moved by the cpi In 1999, the BJP loses no confidence vote after Jai Lalita withdraws the support. 2003, Atal Bihari Vajpayee wins the no confidence vote moved by Congress. 2018, TDP moves no confidence motion against the Modi-led BJP government. These are certain examples of the recent no confidence motion. can you recognize who are all these yeah these are all the prime ministers of our country we are having jawahar lal nehru gulzari lal nanda lal bahadur shastri again gulzari lal ne nanda indira gandhi moraji desai charan singh indira gandhi rajiv gandhi vishwanath pratap singh chandra shekhar pv narsim rao atal bihari vajpayee एच डी देवेगौड़ा इंद्र इंदर कुमार गुजराल अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी मनमोहन सिंह एंड द प्रेजेंट प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी नाउ लेट अस मूव ऑन टू द मिनिस्टर्स द प्राइम मिनिस्टर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया प्रोवाइड्स फॉर अ काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स विद द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एज द एट द हेड टू एड एंड एडवाइज द प्रेसिडेंट the president acts in accordance with the with their advice in the exercise of his functions the president may require the council of ministers to reconsider their advice but he shall act in accordance with the advice tendered after such reconsiderations ours is a parliamentary form of government therefore our president is only a nominal head of the state thus the council of ministers headed by the prime minister is the most powerful institution of the indian polity now let us see the appointment of the prime minister the prime minister is appointed by the president the president cannot act arbitrarily in this appointment according to the convention the president invites the leader of the majority party or the group in the lok sabha to form the government the members of the majority party or the group elect their leader to their appointed as the prime minister the president then appoints him as the prime minister when no single party secures the absolute majority in the lok sabha the president may have some option in the appointment of the prime minister but the president has to appoint that person who can prove that he has the support of smaller groups or parties in order to have the majority in the house then we are having the council of ministers article 75 the article 75 of our constitution states that the prime minister shall be appointed shall be appointed by the president and the other minister shall be appointed by the president on the advice of the prime minister by convention the president has to accept the choice of the prime minister in the matters of appointment and dismissal uh, of the ministers normally only the members of the parliament are appointed as ministers in case non member is appointed as a minister he must be elected or nominated to the parliament within 6 months from the date of his appointment failing this he will have to resign from the post of the ministers before 1979 the constitution did not refer to the word cabinet 
it referred only to the council of ministers the 44th amendment act provides that president shall not issue a proclamation of national emergency unless the decision of the unit cabinet has been communicated to him in writing after this distinction between the cabinet and the council of ministers have become evident here we are having also the cabinet ministers they are the most important ministers of the council of ministers they hold the important uh, portfolios like home defense finance external affairs railways a cabinet minister is in charge of the ministry and sometimes of more than one of the ministry only only the cabinet ministers have the right to attend the meetings of the cabinet they together determine the policy and programs of the government then we are having the ministers of the state they are the second category of ministers they may or may not hold an independent charge of any portfolio the prime minister may or may not consult them they do not participate in the cabinet meetings but they have to be uh, they uh, but they may be invited to attend the meetings when matters concerning the departments are being considered then we are having the deputy ministers they are the third category of ministers who assess the cabinet ministers and the council of ministers they are the junior ministers and are placed under the senior ministers whom they have to assist they take no part in the cabinet deliberations now let us move on to the cabinet how the formation is made the cabinet is composed of a small but important body of senior leaders of the party who are included in the council of ministers they hold important portfolios and decide the uh, and decide the major policies of the government they being trusted men of the prime minister form the nucleus of the administration in fact the cabinet is the pivot round which the whole administration revolves the cabinet takes important decisions such as decisions are communicated to other ministers and they have to follow the decision these decisions even though they might not have been a party of to such decisions then the appointment of the cabinet the prime minister selects his senior and trustworthy colleagues and advises the president to appoint them as cabinet ministers the president then appoints them as ministers as per the advice of the prime minister so what are the terms of the office there the ministers holds the office during the pleasure of the president but the president has little power even in this regard because the prime minister and the council of ministers are directly responsible to the lok sabha and can remain in the office so long as they enjoy the majority support in the house of the people that is lok sabha children if the lok sabha passes a vote of no confidence just now i told no confidence again as the council of ministers they have to resign collectively the council of ministers have, are collectively responsible to the lok sabha before the prime minister before a minister enters upon his office the president ad- administers him the oath of office and of secrecy in the oath of office the minister swears to bear truth faith true faith and allegiance to the constitution of india uphold the sovereignty and integrity of india faithfully and consistently consistently discourage his uh, uh, sorry discharge his duties without fear of favor action or ill will every minister must be a member of either house of the parliament or must become one within the 6 months of his appointment failing which he will have to vacate his office the salaries and allowances of ministers are such as parliament from time to time by law determines now let us move on to the what are the powers of the prime minister the administrative powers the cabinet formulates 
sorry, the appoint the, the powers of the prime minister. When we move on to the powers of the uh, prime minister, powers of the prime minister, the appointment and removal of ministers, and allocation uh, and allocation of the portfolios. So. The Prime Minister recommends the President the appointment of Ministers and the Council of Ministers and the Council of Ministers. He also allow, gives the various portfolios among the Ministers. His decision is final in the allocation of portfolio. Then we are having the Head of the Government. The Prime Minister is responsible for all the actions. Uh, he, uh, for, uh, for all the actions to the government and also he takes the greater interest in framing the policies which is related to planning, fine defense and foreign affairs. Then the head of the union cabinet. The meetings of the union cabinet are held under the chairmanship of the prime ministers. All the discussions of issues of national and international importance are discussed and decisions are taken under his chairmanship. He is the link between the president and the cabinet. Now we will move on to see these are the list of the cabinet ministers of India with the portfolio. Amitya, now it has been changed, isn't it? Now you will write who are the present list of the ministers of the cabinet. Is it right? Yeah, is it is right. Amit Shah, Home Minister, Ranjit Singh, Defense Minister, Nirmala Sitaram, Finance Minister, Jai Shankar, Foreign Minister, Nitin Ghatkari, Road, Transport, Highways, Smriti uh, Irani, Woman and Child Development, Ravi Shankar Prasad, Communication, Law, Justice, Communication, Piyush Goyal, Railways, Commerce and Industry, Prakash, Javitkar, Environment, Forest and Climate Change Ministers. So now we will move on to the Union Cabinet. The Union Cabinet is the real executive and his ministers uh, uh, and has ministers in two hierarchies. The first one is the cabinet level and the second is the Minister of State. The maximum strength of the Union Cabinet is 15% of the total strength of the Parliament. The Cabinet children it has two kinds of responsibilities the first one is the minister of every department is responsible for the administration of his, de of his department and he has individual responsibility for the success or failure of his department the union cabinet has collective responsibilities to the parliament with regard to the decisions and policies taken by it therefore the cabinet can be a power be in power only as long as it enjoys the trust of the parliament. When it loses, the trust is removed by a non -con no confidence movement. So, thus, under Article 75.3, the constitution of the constitution, the council of ministers shall be collectively responsible to the house of the people. The principle uh, of the collective responsibility implies that the decision taken in the meetings of the cabinet are equally applicable to all the ministers even though they differ among themselves in particular policy. All ministers jointly share the responsibility for the government policies performance. The minister must function as a team in supporting and defending the government policies inside as well as outside the parliament. A vote of non, uh, no confidence uh, against one minister is a vote against the whole ministry children. Such a ministry, such a ministry has lost the confidence of the local Sabha has to resign. So with this we end up with the chapter. So there is an activity here which has been given. You have to draw a picture of the parliament house and uh, and stick the pictures of our presidents of India. This is one activity and you had to answer this in one sentence or in one word children. With this we finish up with the chapter. Thank you children.